to move and expend energy. And that's what he's doing right now. He's making quadrants. Here applying a little bit more energetic pressure than apply in the first round. I think he understands the challenge. Kind of what happened with Quadras last round. He did everything he wanted to do. But I'm not used to seeing him apply this kind of almost frantic. But I think Chocolatito understands that what he did against the Royals, not good enough again. And out, and he didn't look like the normal Chocolatito confidence that he has. Good enough upcut on body I shot. Mean, Chocolatito, as more than one observer has felt. I don't know if I agree with that yet, but Chocolatito's getting there. I mean, here as usual, he is taking a tremendous fighter, a world-class fighter, best in the division, and moving up in weight to do it. Quadras into every other opponent he's fought. That is a guy who already, as much as good work as he's doing, see your life, and it's only the third round. Chocolatito landed the hardest shots, putting on the pressure, doing more damage. I love those fights. are so obvious as soon as it lands. It reminds me of Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. The way he can throw it effective. Can throw it any time he gets ready, just like that. The Quadras is fighting back. Yes, he is. And Chocolatito needs to defend himself a little better because of this. He bends at the waist a little more than Triple G. Triple G's a bigger puncher than he is, even in a pound-for-pound -pound sense, I guess. But when you're as aggressive, you're going to oh, hit some, high. and he got hit just then. Good uppercut by Quadras. Oh, good shot. Good left hook upstairs by Quadras. So Chocolatito. This combination by Quadras. It was, although Chocolatito in the middle of that combination landed. Good. Good. good right hand, one kind or another, in his fourth weight division. Good. To the, to the left hand by Chocolatito. And Quadras flurries. Quadras has had his right hand. Boom, right over the top. And it has to be a confident. See that? Yep, Quadras is not discouraged somehow. He's 29 years old, 45 fights, and he's in tough. This is not something else that Roman Gonzalez is really good at, Roy. He seems to be almost taking a breather, even as he's at. Well, he usually does, and it usually lands against guys, but it's not landing against Quadras tonight. Is he runs so much that he doesn't get his feet blood smeared over it. There's swelling. This eye is closing, and and did come over between rounds and say that the cut was called for a punch, not a hit. To withstand that early barrage by Chocolatito, where it looked like he was just being outclassed, not give up on himself and put himself in a position now to be in a very competitive fight. Although he's starting to take a little beat. I can too, Max. Oh, good shot by Chocolatito. It's a relative term, and it's relative here with these flyweight, super flyweight fighters. But you can see Chocolatito's power not quite here what it... He also sees the blood coming from Quadras' eye now, too, so yep. that would be a little bit of a confidence builder, but his corner told... Just a little bit there. We have reason to believe that the cut was opened up by a punch, lefts and rights. Upper oh, cut. Right. Chocolatito seems to have good blood. Good hook, Roy. Yeah, seems to have blood from the right ear. Oh, good. Oh, good, good right hand. Hand. Right. From Quad, was some running earlier. Since then, I think it's been, for the most part, intelligent movement. In the old days, the championship rounds were 13, 14, and 15. Now they're 10, 11, and 12. So we're in the championship rounds. And the question is how excellent. Big left hand over the top. Yes. I mean, two guys really going at it. Punches coming from everywhere. Hard punches, soft punches, long punches, short punches. These guys are really doing it, man. Against the Royal. Secluded himself in Big Bear. And in spite of that, we have not seen his face like this. We have not seen him gasp like... Look at that. Look at that. He comes back stronger than he was before it started, you know? Yes. <laughs> Same thing he did to Brian Valeria. Yup. You get into the best. Oh, good body shot. Yes, oh, yes. yes, that hurt. That's where uh, that hurt. And mentor Alexis Arguello was unable to do. Something no other Nicaraguan fighter in history has done. Big left hook. Chocolatito down with him because if you do all this work and you don't bring Chocolatito down with you, 
And he comes back with an onslaught that is going to be out of this world. Had his back on the ropes to end the 11th. That, giving Chocolatito counterpunching opportunities, but also giving himself a chance to win by knockout. That's what he should do. Both men leaving it all out in the middle of the ring. Quadras maybe exceeded expectations of some. Was it enough? And new WWE Superpower Champion of the World, Ronaldo Chocolate.